What's up everyone and welcome back for more Let's Play Coming of Time and part 2 of Yabu Yabu's Belly. How's everybody doing today? In the last episode I got myself the boomerangs and I am here in this place. And this place is a little bit tougher as you also got these but you can also take them out with one shot of the boomerang. You need to kill everything so make sure you um, are ready for that. Just keep walking around, you know, and you should be fine. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoa. Don't do that, thank you. I'll just take this one out. Oh my god, that was close. This thing is aggressive. So if, yes, that, that's better. Now I'll do it again. And it's gone. And the green um, slimy thing, whatever it is, which I mentioned earlier, is now gone. So, it's pretty much time to um, go back since we cleared this upper portal thing. And go in here. Now, I believe it's not this one, but it's this one is now clear. So we can go in here. And there's one thing important here. First of all, make sure you take out these. If they are close. If they're not, you can just leave them here. But there are two sculptures here. One there and one there. So I'm going to demonstrate what this thing does. It's like two, and then if you shoot it, it will bring the gold sculpture all along. So I'm gonna do the exact same here, like one and two. And if I throw it or just do it like that, there we go. We got two more gold sculpture tokens. Now we can go in here, and let's see what's in here. That's probably the spirit of stone water which I need. That's it, that's what I'm looking for. Throw me up there. So I'll do that. And she's happy. So happy. Princess Ruto got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Ruto? Why we need it. Well we got the spiritual stone of water later. But we need that. Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother stone. I got very upset when Lord Yabu Yabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised, I dropped it inside. But... N Wait, that's not right. She... Your Yabu Yabu swallowed it, she got swallowed too, and she dropped it. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But now that I found it, I knew it didn't need you anymore. So take me home. Okay. Allow me to climb up the platform. Whoa. Wait a minute. Yeah, what's this, an octopus? Um, this door closes, that's not a good sign. Holy shit, that thing's ugly. Well, you can do it like this. It's it's easy if you get hit, and then you can hit it with a boomerang and slash his ass, like that. I'd rather take a half of a hard hit because that speeds up the time a lot. Then, oh, whoops. Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter, does it? Oh, man. Because I'm not gonna make that in time. And she's... Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. Oh, ow. Well, let's see if I... Can I approach? Well, it's pretty quick for, um, boss. Yeah, screw it. I'll just take the hit. Like I said, I'd rather take half of a hard hit. Because then I can hit his ass. Like that. And splash it. And that's it. It's pretty easy if you do it like that, else you gotta run along and save your hearts, but I'd rather not do that. Anyways, it drops one, two, three hearts, which I can use. So we already um, recovered our uh, loss there. And now that we're up here, Ruto's gone. Where could the poor girl be? I'm so... No, I am... Uh, I am not worried at all, actually. Anyways, in here I capture my second fairy, I will release it the moment I actually need it. Or whenever I need to clear some room. But that's not the case right now. So, anyways, I'm gonna go through here and kill. Well, never mind. I'll just ignore the other one. Go in here. And this is some sort of weird ice thing. What you need to do is hit it, and it will drop, and ignore that, and hit that one. Jump on it. I said jump on it, not fall off it. That's because of this stupid fucker distracting me. 
So I'll just kill that one first. Die. That saves me a moment. Now I can hit it again. Go over here. Hit this one. And now I can jump over with no consequences at all. So, by doing that, I enter this room, and this is some sort of strange pattern. I highly recommend you not to fall off here. I highly, highly, highly recommend you, because you need this platform. Else you gotta rewalk all the place. And that takes a moment. So what you're gonna do is... Get this chest thing here. Box, whatever you wanna call it. Jump on it. And do the exact same as what we did with Princess Ruto, but in this case we use a box. I don't know why, because Ruto isn't here anymore, I guess. There's only one thing which you need to get, which is really important, so take this one out first. And yeah, you can see that there it is a... I'll just use this for the attacking it's quicker. It is... Our final gold sculpture token for this dungeon, for now. I'm not really sure if I need to re-enter this, but I think this is the final one. So... Having done that, you can hit this one with the boomerang, just make it fly around it. And that door opens, and if you look really closely on the map, shut up. If you look really closely on the map, you can see that that's the boss door we opened. So, it's boss time. Let's go. I wonder what kind of boss this is. And I can hear something. And... Oh my god, what's that? It's like a, some sort of huge smiley. A blue smiley. Oh, there is not one of them. And what the hell is that? Oh my god. This seems really strong and problem. This is the Bioelectric MNO Baronade. If I spelled it right. And what you need to do here is not that difficult. It's more difficult than others think. You need to boomerang his top. And watch out for his lightning bolt, and it will cut loose, and it will start flying around. Now, what you need to do is hit him with the boomerang, and the other ones will fly loose. Now, slash those. You can either use the boomerang or the sword. I'd rather use the sword, and it's probably gonna reactivate. So do it again, like that, and now we'll go up. Second phase, and you now need to see to cross through. And that's not really that much of an easy task, so be prepared to take a moment. And we'll try to slash it with that thing. So come on. Jeez. Yeah, that's better. Now you can do the exact same again. Which is two, three, and ow. Don't do that. Now I can hit it again. And hit the other one again. And there we go, now his, second, his final phase starts, and it will shoot a lot of lightning at you. So make sure you keep walking, it's really important that you keep walking here. Now, if you hit him, it's slashing time. Like we're used to. Now, avoid the lightning, it will fire at a quite quick pace, it's not that easy. Whoa. If, ow. Yeah, it shoots a lot of lightning at you, and that makes it not easy. Anyways, hit it again, and rinse and repeat that strategy. It should go down in the next uh, wave. Just... Ow, that was too late. Ow, that was too late as well. <laughs> um, hit it again, slash it again, and bye-bye. And yeah, it's some sort of swells up. And... Boom! Explodes. And that looks really fucking nasty. I know. Anyways... We completed the boss, and because of that, we get our 10th heart already! Wow! This is the first time that I got 10 hearts before leaving this dungeon. And I'm gonna... It's the princess, and she seems pissed off, but I don't care because I saved her. It's like... You're late, what took you so long? You're useless! I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Well, she's just messing around with you. And we're gonna fly up. With the princess, is that a sign? I don't know. And... We're here. And whoa, close up, close up, distance, this, the... Uh, oh, she was standing on there. Wow. At least I can swim. 
And she jumps along as well because she's the great swimmer. And wow, what you gonna do? You, you looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone, nothing really. Well, let me be honest, I really need it, so I want the spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora Sapphire? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement. Wait a minute, I mean, no, I'm not gonna marry to that girl. Alright, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. And for some reason, she's gonna swim behind. And there is the third and final blue ball. Which is obviously the sign. We're done. We're done. We got the third spiritual stone. The Zora Sapphire. The spiritual stone of water. Well done, everyone. You obtained Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about. But you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. Which is obviously what we need. Don't tell my father. So, we're done with Zora's domain, but we still need some things to do. First of all, remember the, um, what was it called? Um, Skeletal Alba was here. Now we got the boomerang, so we can get it. So, um, let's make it night. And then I got, if I look it up, I got a grand total of nine Skeletalas to collect. So the next episode is mainly uh, Skeletala hunting. And then it's off to become a grown up. Wow. And where is it? I can hear it. It's somewhere there. One. Two. And. Catch. There we go. Now there's one more thing I'm gonna do before I am gonna turn into um, an adult and collect all the stuff. I am gonna warn you, though, I think I said this before, but. You will be surprised by the amount of stuffs I will have and I will collect before I even enter the first temple. You definitely will be, so... That's something you need to wait for. Um, I will be going to Kakariko Village and I'll see you in a moment. Alright, I'm in the house of Skalchla, and you already guessed it, I need to free the third human, but where is it? It's over there! And that's the leader, which you need to get after clearing 100 of them. The curse has been broken. Thank you! Here's a reward for you! And I really like this, because it is the giant's wallet! I can carry up to 500 rupees. Which is really good. <sighs> so, anyways... In the next episode, I will be collecting eight Skulltulas and get some final side quests done and then pull out the Grand Master Sword. So, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you for the next episode. Peace out, take care, y'all.